welcome back to my channel. Today I have a favorites video. It's been a long time since I've done a monthly favorites video, so really all of these things I'm going to show you all today are more than just what I loved in September. It's just what I've been loving, you know, recently the last few months. I think going forward I probably won't do monthly favorite videos. I think maybe I'll do like every couple of months or just like what I've been loving recently type videos because I don't have enough stuff new every single month to really warrant doing a new favorites video every single month you know unless it's a month where I just have found a ton of new products you know then I will do a video but for now I'm just gonna do it as I discover new things that I'm loving so Check out some of my past favorites videos. There's a lot of things that I still use in those videos, um, but today I'm going to share a lot of new items that I haven't shown before. So if you want to see what I have been loving lately, then keep watching. As I said, it's been a long time since I've done a favorites video, so I have a lot of stuff to share with y'all today. I have some skincare, actually like quite a bit of skincare because I've just been really trying to get my skin looking good again. I had like a little breakout and I don't know if I like over exfoliated like chemically and physically exfoliated and it, I had like a bunch of red bumps and I just I've been really trying to get my skin back to a good place right now so I have been loving a lot of skincare items but I also have some makeup and hair care items that I think that you guys will really be really interested in so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is probably hair care because I don't have too many things so as you can see I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting back here and that's what I'm gonna go through so I only have three hair care items that I'm gonna share with y'all today and the first one is from caviar and it is their perfect texture finishing spray and this is what the bottle looks like and I got this in a set of two and I really like this product it gives really good texture but it doesn't leave your hair like really crunchy and it gives nice volume too because it's just a little bit it keeps your hair sort of almost like they rub against each other so it gives them a little bit pumped up volume and texture if that makes any sense at all on the back it says that this dry multitasking spray finishes any style with texture and light hold locking volume into place and that's exactly what it does i use this every single day just to add a little bit of texture to my hair and it just gives a little bit of a hold without leaving it feeling crunchy or heavy or weighed down. So this is like my go-to everyday finishing spray that I've really been enjoying. And the next sort of styling product is from Way, and it is their Wave Spray. And this is like a little travel smaller size that I got in a um, Rachel Zoe box of style. I want to say it was the summer box of style. And I went through this like no tomorrow because it is amazing you can use it on wet hair you can use it on like dry hair it goes great texture I like to put it in whenever I have like a little curl in my hair to make it look a little bit more like no fuss kind of relaxed wave give it like that cool girl texture I really have enjoyed this and I'm planning on picking up a full size of this because it is awesome and I highly recommend trying it out if you're into that sort of tousled you know like you just woke up and your hair looks effortless look then you should definitely check this stuff out and the last hair care product is something that I have been trying out lately and that is a um, at home coloring company it's called e salon and they have more than just hair color but they have shampoo and conditioner and treatments and all kinds of things but I have been trying their at home hair color and I really like it I think it works really well I like it better than just getting like box dye at the grocery store and one of the things that I have enjoyed from their line is the tinted love color enhancing treatment and this I use probably once a week in between um, coloring it just helps to make sure that your color stays vibrant and fresh and oftentimes whenever I use this I'll get asked did you just color your hair and it's actually been weeks since I've colored my hair so it really keeps your hair looking great and vibrant and they also have a um, like deep conditioning treatment and I have that in like a bright red color this is in a purple color 
yeah, just color tone purple. And it basically just tints your hair and keeps your color vibrant. And the reason I have a purple one and then a red one is because sometimes I feel like I want more of that violet undertone in my hair. And then sometimes I want more of like a bright red undertone in my hair. It's easy to switch between the two. It's not permanent hair color. It's just toning your hair. And sometimes it's just a good way to sort of switch up a little bit. Nothing drastic, but just like the tone of your hair. So I really have been enjoying this. It's super affordable. I highly recommend checking it out. They have a ton of colors to choose from. And if you're looking for an at-home hair color brand, I would definitely recommend trying them. I want to do a video, but every time I get a box in, I'm like desperate to color my hair. And I don't actually sit down to film like a video of the box. Um, so maybe this next time I will try to do that before I color my hair. If you're interested in that, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely get that filmed for y'all. Okay, so that's everything for hair care and now I'm going to move into the makeup that I have been loving. And so the first item I have for you is from Dior and it is their Lip Glow Pomade Color Reviver Oil Gel Care. And I absolutely love this product. I think it does a great job of keeping your lips nice and moisturized and it gives a nice shine to it. I think this even gives you like a little tint on your lips so whenever it wears off you have a little bit of like a light pink shade. And I really like that. I like to wear this every day. It just, it doesn't feel cakey or heavy or... I don't know, like drying. Sometimes chapsticks can be drying. I know that's sort of like counterintuitive, but I feel like that happens to me a lot of times. But this has worked amazing, and I actually like it better than the other Dior product. I cannot remember what it's called, but it's their other color reviver lip balm. Um, and I really prefer this one to that one. And that one used to be like my holy grail, so that says a lot about this one. So the blush that I've been really loving recently is from Benefit and it's Rocketeer and this is a really pretty sort of rose gold mauve dusty, I don't know, all of those descriptive words, that's what this is. It has a really nice uh, shimmer to it and I've just been gravitating more towards this instead of like a bright pink because I just want something a little bit more subtle on my cheeks during the day, especially at work. And I think that this is just really pretty. I'll do a bronze look with like this over the top and it just gives a nice healthy warm glow to your face and I've really been enjoying this one. So that is the blush that I've been using pretty much every day for the last couple months. As of late I've really been gravitating towards a simple quick eye look. I've just been trying to get out the door in the morning to go to work without having to really fuss around with my eye look. And for that, I have been gravitating towards these Bobbi Brown Long Wear Shadow Cream Sticks. Long Wear Cream Shadow Sticks. And I have three colors. One is in Dusty Mauve. The other one is in Stone. And then in Truffle. So Truffle I've been using as like a highlight. And, and I'll put this like underneath my eyebrow or in the corners of my eyes. And it's just a really pretty highlight shade and then the other one that I've been loving most is the Dusty Mauve so I'll just run this all over my eyelid and then I'll get a fluffy brush and I'll blend out the crease and it's just a really quick easy look that lasts all day so this is the Dusty Mauve it's really pretty really like it the other one I have is Stone and this one I like too but not as much as I like Dusty Mauve Stone is more of like a brown color. Dusty Mauve has more of like a purple undertone. So those are the three that I've been loving. They stay on for a really long time. They're quick and easy to put on and it's just a great travel item. You don't have to worry about, you know, powder um, eyeshadows breaking. You can just throw these in your bag. If you ever need a touch up, you can just keep one of these with you. They're really great and I definitely recommend checking them out if you're like an easy makeup person. You don't want something that's going to take a long time. You want something that's going to look good, stay out through the day, and be quick. Next I'm going to move on to a concealer and this is from YSL and this is the Touche de Claw Radiant Touch Concealer. And it's one that you like click up and it has like a nice brush on it. And I have been loving this. I avoided buying it for a really long time because 
Everybody said it was like a radiant concealer. It wasn't really like a concealer. It was more of like a highlighting concealer. And I often find when people are describing items like that, that they really don't have enough coverage for me and I end up not really liking them or using them. I know that there were some like dupes out there and I had actually tried those before I had purchased this and I didn't really ever like them. I think there was one from Revlon. I think maybe there was one from NYX Cosmetics and maybe another one that I tried and none of them really worked for me. But this one I actually love. It was nothing like I expected it to be. It actually has really great coverage. It just brightens up your under eye and it's not heavy or cakey. It doesn't dry down too fast. It's just amazing. I really like this and I think it's definitely worth the money. So you should check that out if you're feeling like splurging on a little concealer. The next couple of items I have are going to be foundations and I have two um, well, three really that are kind of different consistency. The first one I have is from Marc Jacobs and it's their Remarkable Foundation. And I have the shade Bisque Taupe. And this is a really good full coverage, lightweight foundation. So it doesn't feel like you have a ton of makeup on. You don't need very much. You only need a couple of drops of it. And it just will completely cover your face, full coverage. I pretty much will wear this every single day. I know that might seem a lot to some people, but I have oily skin and I like to have full coverage and I want it to last all day long. So using this and setting it with a little bit of powder, which I'll show you in a minute, really gives you long lasting full coverage. The only thing I have to say about this is that I really don't like the um, dispenser. I don't know if you would even call this a dispenser, but it's like a ball and you have to just like put it on your face. I just, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that like as it dries out in here or, you know, I use it up, it's not going to be easy to get product out and that's my one complaint. Next foundation I have is more of like a cream and it's from Kevin Aquan and it is the Sensual Skin Enhancer and I have the shade, I don't know if they have names or it just says X, SX05. I'll put down below if I find it's called. So this is like a pot of foundation and I really like to wear this on its own but sometimes I will mix it with my Remarkable foundation. Sometimes the Remarkable foundation can feel almost like you have a mask on your face. I mean, not heavy like a mask would be but it just kind of looks like you have a mask on your face. So sometimes I like to mix this and I'll just put a couple of dots in between where I've put the dots of the Remarkable foundation and I find that it just gives a really beautiful finish to my face and so I've really been enjoying this. You don't need very much. It lasts a long time. It's full coverage. Another really great foundation and this is really travel friendly. It's small. You know you're not gonna have it like break in your travel bag. It's just like a cream pot you stick your finger in and take it out and start using it. You know, it's no fuss, no mess, really good. So again, that's from Kevin Aquan. So the last um, foundation that I have is from It Cosmetics, and it is a powder foundation, and this is the Celebration Foundation Illumination, and I have the shade Light. And this has been a go-to foundation for me. If it's the weekend, I don't feel like putting on you know, liquid or cream foundation. I just want to put a little bit of powder, powder, powder foundation on. And most of your powder foundations are going to be your fullest coverage. I also like to use this to set my foundation. It just helps to make sure that it lasts all day long without smudging or smearing or breaking up on my face. It works really well. I like it because it has this illumination factor and I really feel like it does illuminate your face, which sounds so strange because it's a powder, but at the same time, it leaves your face sort of with a glow. And I haven't found that in any other sort of foundation, powder foundation. So I really do enjoy this one and recommend it. If you have oily skin and you like powder foundations, this is a really good one. It'll still give you a nice, healthy glow to your face. Next, I have the brush that I like to use with my foundation. And it's really dirty right now, so don't judge me when I show it to you. But it's from It Cosmetics, and it is the Heavenly Skin uh, Buffing Brush. It's really nice and big. I feel like with the Remarkable Foundation, a really big 
kabuki type brush is what works best with it. I know the one that Marc Jacobs sells that goes with it is a similar style. So this one is just really big. It takes no time at all to blend in your foundation because it's so big. And I just feel like it does a great job and I really love it. So this one is really good. If you're looking for a new foundation brush, I will link this one down below too. All right, so two more makeup items left. And the first one is the Becca Jaclyn Hill, um, what is this called? Champagne Collection Face Palette. And I do like this whole palette. I think it's great. I love the mirror in it. It is like massive. Um, and I also like all of the highlighters and blushes in here. But really what I want to focus on is this one here. And this one is called, I want to say Amaretto. Yeah, it's called Amaretto. And it is a beautiful shade. I like to wear it sort of as like a bronzer blush and I almost will wear it more towards the back of my cheekbone and sometimes I will put like a like this shade here more on the front apples of my cheeks but sometimes I will also just wear this on its own and it's just really pretty I think that it is a beautiful sort of bronzy blush shade I will show you guys what it looks like I don't want to blind you that is what it looks like there it's really pretty just looks really good. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. It was sort of the um, surprising thing about this palette was how much I loved this one. I'm pretty sure that they sell it individually too, so if you're interested, I will link that down below. So my card ran out of memory. I had to load everything up onto my computer, delete it. Now I'm back for filming. <laughs> so what I was talking about was my last makeup item and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Gleam and I was saying that I really enjoy using a um, combination of these. I think that they work really well together. Um, also just on their own individually they work really well. I really like the, I want to say it's the Crushed Pearl, it's probably like my favorite and it looks like that right there is stardust right there or sorry yeah starburst then this one is mimosa and then hard candy hard candy is right there so this one is a little bit more pink, this one is a little bit more bronze, this one is like a lighter baby pink, and then this one is more of a golden uh, white-ish pearl shade. That these kits are a really great value because these pans are huge. Like this is the size of an individual pan like all by itself, but you get four and I want to say that they're like maybe $35 for this whole thing, maybe a little more. I'll put down below how much it is exactly, but it's definitely worth it. I'm going to move on to my skincare, which is my last category, and I'm going to start off with a body skincare item, and it is from L'Occitane. This is their Almond Oil Cleansing Shower Oil. I love this. This is like the big size. Uh, QVC sells like a set of the big size and then a travel size but then also like the replacement um, filler so you can buy the big size and then buy like the bag of like replacement um, for a really good price on QVC I want to say like 50 or 60 dollars a lot more affordable than if you bought them individually on the L'Occitane Citon site this is my favorite cleansing oil really cleansing anything for my body in the shower. I just like it so much better than regular soap or anything else that I've ever tried. It's great for shaving your legs. It helps prevent any razor burn and it's moisturizing. It smells heavenly. It's wonderful. I really love this. I've used this for a long time on and off. I'll go in spurts of using it and every time I bring it back I don't understand why I ever stop using it. It's great. And if you have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend trying it out. I have two face cleansing items. And the first one is from A Cosmetics, and it is the Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Looks like this. It's pretty much empty. I have, like, barely any left. I have to, like, dig it out to use it. You don't have to use a ton whenever you do use it, but it's sort of this, like, balmy consistency that you 
just rub into your skin, um, dry skin, and then it just like melts away your makeup and then you splash water on and it all rinses off. So I really like to use this whenever, like first when I have my makeup on and then I'll follow it up with like a second cleanser. But you can just use it on its own. It really gets rid of all your makeup. I think that it keeps your skin nice and like moisturized. It doesn't feel stripping or anything. It's really sensitive. Um, let's see. It does say that you can leave it on for 60 seconds for a deeper and intense hydration. So maybe if you like washed off your makeup first and then followed it up with like a second round of this, I think maybe um, that's what they're talking about. I've never tried that. I actually might try that next time. I've been mostly using this at night when I have makeup on and I want to get it all off. I'm really lazy when it comes to taking off my makeup. I hate having to get pads and like makeup remover and try and get all your eye makeup off. This just does it all in one. It just gets rid of everything and it works really good. It's great for sensitive skin. It's great for oily skin. Great for dry skin. It's just all around a really good makeup removing cleansing balm. So it's from It Cosmetics. The same thing that I end up following up after I've cleansed my skin with that product is a more polishing exfoliating cleanser and it is from Tatcha and it is the Polish Deep Rice Enzyme Powder. And this is my favorite scrubbing powder or scrubbing uh, exfoliating face wash. It works really great. I always try to veer away from products that are, you know, exfoliating cleansers because I felt oftentimes they were a bit too abrasive. They have those big beads in it and you could just feel your skin sort of like being, I don't know, like sandpaper. It just, I don't know. It's just not something that I ever really enjoyed. And then I found this and it doesn't even feel like an exfoliant whenever you're using it. It just feels like a sort of creamy consistency when you add water to it and it just takes off like all of that rough texture, you know, if you haven't exfoliated your face in a while. So this is great. I think that it works wonderfully. You don't realize that it's an exfoliant whenever you're using it. It doesn't feel abrasive, but then after you've finished washing your face, it's super soft, super supple, and it gives like a great smooth texture to your skin. The next couple of items are um, more, to, more of like a treatment type item. And so the first one is from Drunk Elephant and it is the TLC Frambus Glycolic Night Serum. And it says it has raspberry extract, horse ch chestnut, ah, can't speak, horse chestnut and it's 12% AHA blend. And this is like a chemical exfoliant. I use this probably every other night and I put this on um, before I put on my moisturizer or anything and this helps to exfoliate that top layer of skin that is really dry and dull. It helps to clear up any clogged pores, gives your skin a smoother, more radiant look. So this is really great. It is a little bit expensive, but it's worth the money again. I feel like spending that little bit of extra money on your skincare is really going to be worthwhile in the end because then whatever makeup you end up putting on over your skin is going to look 10 times better. I want to use this on clean dry skin and I usually will put it on and let it sit for a minute or two and soak in before I follow up with whatever other you know face product I might be using that night. So this one again is really good and it's from Drunk Elephant. I haven't really tried anything else from them but because this one worked out so good I am tempted to try some of the other ones in the line. If you've tried this brand and you have any other suggestions, then please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Next item I have is from Josie Maran, and it is their Pure Argon Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. And this is like a really hydrating, serum-y, milky sort of moisturizing treatment. I don't know, that's like a lot of descriptive words there all in one. But it has like a little dropper and it's this like milky, as the name would suggest, consistency. I really like it because I can use it in the morning and at night and it doesn't leave my face feeling greasy. And it just keeps it hydrated all day long, all night long. This works really well. I really like Jessie Maron's skincare products pretty much in general. I haven't had one that I didn't like. So if you're looking for something that's hydrating 
but not going to leave you oily, I would suggest trying this one out. The last skincare product I have is from Caudalie. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's how I'm going to say it. And it is their Beauty Elixir. And I have never tried this before until I got this like travel size. I was kind of skeptical at first because it's just like a water kind of, you know. But it actually works really well. And it just helps to revive your skin whenever you're feeling like dull or tired. You know, you've had your makeup on for a while. And even before you had your makeup on, if you just want to spritz it when you wake up in the morning, it's just going to give like an instant boost to your skin. So I really enjoyed using this. It's really good in the travel size because you can just throw it in your bag and anytime you need a little pick-me-up, you can just spritz this on your face and you will just feel refreshed. So this again is from Caudalie and it's their Beauty Elixir. The fragrance that I've been really loving recently is from Nest Fragrances and it is Midnight Fleur. I'm pretty sure this is probably like their best seller and it literally smells divine. Like I could just bathe in this. It's definitely a more musky, more like wintery scent maybe, more night scent, but it just smells really great. And really in all, Nest fragrances are really great quality. They have like a really long lasting scent. And I've tried their Dahlia and Vines one and I really like that one too. Um, if you're interested in trying them out, I will put some suggestions down below for you. They sell them at like Nordstrom and other department stores like that. I think Sephora carries them too, but they have really good quality fragrances. Okay guys, so that has been all of the favorites I've been loving recently. There was a lot of stuff. Um, there are a lot of other things that I still love that I have in past videos, so be sure to check all of those old favorite videos out. I will link them down below. Um, I see my battery light flashing at me, so it is about to die on me, and I'm just going to wrap this up here and say thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and be sure to leave me any comments down below, any suggestions for products you think I might like, or if you've tried any of these products and you enjoyed them, be sure and leave those comments down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!